Statistics, a short Dvar Torah for Parashat Vayikra. This isn't my first time dealing with the mysterious and confusing world of Korbanot. Before I went on Shlichut for a year in London with Maori Verabi Rabbi Binyamin Tavori Zatzal, I knew I was heading towards a unique opportunity to intimately study with one of the greatest teachers I would ever have. I asked that we use this opportunity and study Masechet Zvachim, the tractate that discusses the laws of Korbanot, because I knew nothing about them. After insisting, it happened, and a window was opened to a world I didn't know, which forms the basis of this week's investigation. It's no secret that Parashat Vaikra deals with most of the basic sacrifices that are offered in the tabernacle and in the temple. It's also well known that offering kolbanot is a dirty business, which combines animals, knives, fire, blood, and other things that vegetarians like me don't like to discuss. There were also many words that I expected to see woven into the parasha, so it didn't surprise me at all to see the roots shikarev 65 times, including 11 times meaning the innards of animals, so maybe in the context of kolbanot only 54. The root chet 55 times, zevach 49, words like dam 25, asham 23, and nefesh 9 times. A word I didn't expect was lifnei, which appears 21 times, but in hindsight, I don't think it should have surprised me. After all, the purpose of the offerings, the korbanot, is to get closer, lehit karev, and who wants to meet from a distance? I think that COVID dealt with that. The big surprise was the placement of the different words, and I'd love to check out a few of them with you. Let me begin with the word I didn't expect. In the parasha, every time the word lifnei, before, appears, it will be close to the word Hashem. Let me explain. It's true that sometimes the word discusses a location where an action related to the offering must be performed, and then the next word could be in front of Ohel Moed, or maybe in front of the Parochet, or Parochet HaKodesh. But the phrase before Hashem will always appear in a verse before, or after, or in the Psukim mentioning the Parochet, in the very same verse. Why do I find this information interesting? Because it will highlight the places where the expression is missing. Let me demonstrate. According to our parasha, the olot and shlamim cattle and sheep offerings are brought before Hashem, but not the bird olot. Regarding each of these offerings, the phrase before Hashem is mentioned once. The chataot that are brought into the inner part of the mishkan, meaning chatat hanasi, chatat hakohen hamashiach, and chatat hakal, are all offered before Hashem, lifnei Hashem, the, whereas the sin of the priest and the crowd meriting the phrase four times each, but chatat hanasi, only once. The phrase does not appear in the descriptions of the individual sin offering, and the various ashamot only receive it once collectively at the end of the list. All this information is correct in our parasha. In the future parashot, before Hashem will appear regarding all the komanots that didn't get it this time. We should try to understand why this discrimination between the various offerings appears. Like, why do some get more than others? Why are some in this parasha and others only in later ones? These are very good questions that we are not going to deal with this week because I'm annoying. It's interesting to note that there's an almost invert correspondence between the appearance of the word lifnei, which we just discussed, and the word nefesh. A nefesh will offer a mincha, a chatat, and many ashamot, all of which, aside from olata'of, are the same sacrifices that are not said to be sacrificed before Hashem. Why? This is also a question I'm not about to answer. The root kufresh bet, korban, appears throughout the entire parasha, but if in the olan shlamim offering it repeats itself many times, 17 times for the animal lot, 16 times for the menachot, and 22 times for the shlamim, regarding the chataot, it appears 8 times and only twice for the ashamot. This is, of course, the opposite of the roots chata and asham, that in all 78 of their appearances, surprisingly, or not really, focus on the kolbanot chatat and asham. This makes perfect sense, because it's difficult to get close, lit karev, kufresh bet, during the sinful times.
The altar, Mizbech, loves all burnt offerings 18 times and the sin offerings 16 times, much more than the other types, only 6 for Shlamim and 3 for Hashem. Only the Shlamim is called a Zevach 8 times and blood, dam, is always on the altar. The sin offerings are full of blood 15 times, perhaps because Yedichem Damim Maleu as a description in Ishayahu for the Chataim, and the Olot and Shlamim have some blood for each, whereas the blood of the Asham offering is mentioned twice, but only in verses which call the Asham Chatat. It's like hidden somewhere. I have no idea if anyone is still following what I'm saying, if this helped anyone, or if anyone will try to refer to the dry data I've gathered and extract instructive insights from it. I only know that I enjoyed myself, and I believe that I have added another foundation to the one that my rabbi gave me, and hopefully, someday, this foundation can become a building. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, pass it on to a friend, or maybe you might even want to buy my book. There's a link below. I am Jovi Holtz, one who loves foundations and Tanakh.